Hey Flight Simmers, welcome back to a new video. So on yesterday's video, I posted about the 787 mod. I got a few questions on the livery, and that livery does not come with the mod. It's a livery you have to install uh, on by its own. So I'm going to uh, show you guys how to install that livery. At this moment, it's not very easy to make liveries, I suppose, for the 787, especially the way it's implemented. Uh, so that's why liveries for the 787 right now are quite scarce. Um, so anyways, I'm going to show you why and what you have to do. And there's uh, one very important thing or two very important things that you guys need to understand and that you need to do. So first uh, thing that I'm going to show you guys is uh, once you have installed the livery, which I'll post the link uh, for the download in the description down below once you guys have this folder installed or uh, downloaded that is the Asobo 787 Air New Zealand liveries by uh, Satbear or Satbeer uh, hopefully I pronounced that correctly you're gonna want to unzip that and once you click inside that folder you'll have these folders okay so there's two liveries there's a black and a white version I'm gonna go ahead and show you this is the white version and then there's the black version, which you guys saw in the 787 mod video from yesterday. So what's important is that you can, at this moment, you can only have one livery installed and functioning at a time. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. You can only have one livery installed and functioning at a time. So what I uh, what that means is that right now we all have the 787 Boeing livery uh, that comes with the default 787. Once you install one of these, that's going to be the default livery. Okay, that's important to understand. Before we begin installing it, I want to make sure you guys make a backup of the 787 folders that we'll be changing. And uh, so to find your uh, 787 folder in your uh, Microsoft root folder, it will depend on where you installed the the sim and where you purchased the sim in my case and which is the example i'll be showing today i purchased the flight sim through the microsoft store and i installed it through the default path so what you want to do is go to your uh, root folder i'll provide the the path in the description down below it'll kind of guide you guys uh, wh where to go so you're going to go all the way to your sobo uh, 787 folder going to sim objects airplanes and then sobo 787 and here we're going to be replacing the panel folder and the texture folder so before we uh change those we're going to go ahead and back up these two folders so i'm going to go ahead and copy panel and I have a separate folder in my desktop and it's called Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 Tweaks and then I have a 787 Tweaks folder and I've pasted the panel folder from the, uh, from the default 787 folder that I showed you guys before and I've copied and pasted the texture folder as well. So once we have the backup uh, of those two folders we're uh, safe to move on to the next step. And the next step is go back to the 787 livery folder. And depending on which one you guys want to use at this time, uh, I have the black one. So what you're going to want to do is click into the black folder or the white one, depending on what livery you want. And we're going to copy these two folders. We're going to go back to the default 787 folder. In our in our Microsoft Flight Simulator root folder, and we can go ahead paste these, and we can overwrite, and you now have it installed, or you now have the the 787 Air New Zealand livery installed as the default livery. So once you launch the sim, you're going to see the 787 with that livery. Uh, as I mentioned before, there's very few liveries for the 787 at this moment. Uh, if you guys find more liveries, let me know and put them in the comments down below. That'll uh, help uh, everyone uh, install more liveries for the 787. But once again, guys, if you follow all those steps, you shouldn't run into trouble. If you have any problems, let me know in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you uh, haven't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe. There's a lot more videos coming in the near future. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys in the next video.